Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of Shopify Multi-Vendor Marketplace app. Today in this video, we will learn how the admin can add products on his store so that the products can easily be assigned to various sellers. Here you can see this is the dashboard panel of the admin section and here you will get this product section and just visit this product listing section. Here from this product listing section you just need to click on this add product button from where you can easily add a new product on your store from this page you need to enter all the details of your new product from here you can choose the product type whether it will be normal or digital once configured by the admin on his end here you need to mention the email id of your seller to whom you want to assign this product here you need to mention the name of your product and here you can select this product type in this description box you can describe few points about this new product just scroll down and add this product tag you can also delete any of the product tag. Just click on this cross button. Here you can mention the product policy of this particular product. Here you can enter the weight of your product as a shipping detail. And you can select whether you require shipping for this particular product or not. I am just unchecking this shipping box as I don't want to select shipping for this particular order here in this box we need to mention the price which we want to set on this particular product here we need to mention this original price that is the compare at price for this product here you can fill the inventory details such as ASCII barcode for this product And here you can select whether you want to track inventory for this particular product or not if you want to track the products inventory then you need to mention the quantity of this particular product from here you can add variants for this product here you can mention the option name and in this box you can mention the option value you can also add another option just click on this and add another option button and make sure that you can add maximum number of variant for any product will be 100 here you need to mention the custom field and just scroll up and you can upload the image for any product just select the image and upload it you can also remove this image from this remove button you can also add another image for this particular product if you want and from this collection section you can select any of the collection for this particular product once you set all these details then you just need to click on this save changes button And this way you can see the product has been successfully created on your end. Now you can view that particular product which you have just added in this product listing section. Here you can see this newly added product and from this action menu the admin can edit this particular product. The admin can view this particular product in store. Admin can also reassign this particular product to a new seller if he want. The admin can also disable this particular product as well as erase this particular product on his store. This is the way how the admin add products on his store. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.